Hello everybody, my name is Snow, and welcome back to Outlast. So, um, Priest is dead, the elevator didn't bring us to the exit, and uh, now we're stuck in the deepest, darkest parts of the, the facility. So, uh, I'd say in a great place to be, it's real dark. I say that about this game a lot, but it's always real dark. Oh... Oh, this is not what I expected to see. A little brighter than I expected. Huh. Proper lighting? No way. This is sketchy. What's that symbol? What is this, like a crystal mine? Ah, uh huh. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I am not crazy. I know, I know. Only crazy people say that. But I am as sane as this world allows, with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Now let the world know it is Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. Hey, we're not dead yet. Come on, man. I'm controlling you. You're not gonna die that easily. Not on my watch. Uh huh. Ah, uh, from the personal records of Dr. Wernick. Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818. Chapter 23, excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant are thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease you know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed, and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Sorry, what? Why is everybody slouched over? I, like, even if you're dead, get better posture. Come on. Oh, yep, that battery's not covered in goop. It's back here. Uh-huh, this place is nice. It screams great things. Oh. Why did you turn off the lights? Why did you do that? Block A. Uh -huh. You okay, bud? What? What's that? Is there a tag on your arm? Or is that bone? That's bone. Okay. Oh, I oh, was some monsters around tagging humans and stuff. I hope that door doesn't open. Definitely hope that door doesn't open. What could possibly be down here, I wonder? Uh huh. Ah, oh, books. Ah, oh, books. What's that? Some intestine, maybe a little bit of brain mixed in there. Mostly intestine. Gallbladder, possibly. I don't know much human anatomy either. Anything up? Anything down? What's the point of this room? I feel like information should be in here. Nothing? There's no way. There's literally nothing. Computers. Well, too bad we can't read off any com computers in this game. Uh -huh. Why does it look like... Every person just exploded on the wall. Like, where'd their skin go? And a, half their bones. Oh, a few human heads, whatever that is. Is that a brain? I think that's supposed to be brain. Armor 2. Patient 1287B. What's wrong with him? I don't understand. Something wrong with him, or... You just taking a look at his report. Uh, delivery exit. Well, I hope that works. Uh-huh. So much cover. I'm sure this can't possibly mean anything bad. Uh-huh. Where are we? In the frame... Ice capsules? Why? Like, what is this? It looks like it's supposed to kind of emulate that kind of vibe, but that's not where we should be. This is maybe crystal? Are you 
Yeah, I don't recall seeing that when we entered this facility. That doesn't look like the outside world that I know. Can't just do that to me, man. The camera flickers. Bro, I saw my ugly fingers come up for a second. Ah, uh, no. Morphogenic engine. And a lot of math I don't understand. Uh, which, which one is it? Morphogenic formula. This is a morphogenic engine. I have a few lines of mathematics and algorithm. Reprogram us. Turn us into nightmare factories. A few mem numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Wernick's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. Doctor, I, I, I don't know for certain. I've kind of started to lose track of it. But he is the one that created all of this, right? But didn't he get out of the field? Oh. I have a lean function, but I... <sighs> Barely remember to use it. This game puts you in so many chase scenes. That's what gets me. Thinking of the possibilities of how I'm supposed to run from something. Just stresses me out, okay? You okay, bud? No. Yeah, I don't think I can make that jump. You're... You're just a puddle, so... Can't really ask you now, can I? Oh, uh, well, this should be really simple, because the door should be straight ahead, but... Oh! Ghost is coming after me. Okay, ghost, ghost is truly coming after me. Ghost is coming. Oh, ghosts succumb. Where do we go? Where can we go? Oh, prison for my mistake. Oh, oh, boy! Oh, you're bloodier than I am. No more This ghost just took on a real physical form. I guess we don't have to worry about good old Billy anymore. This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hill, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Chris Walker? Is that us? Is that our name, or is that the the thing's name. I think that thing was Billy. Not the ghost, that's Wall Rider, but the thing that just died. I thought I could have swore that was Billy. I thunked that was Billy. Last time I listened to somebody calling my name, I got two of my fingers cut off. Okay. Yep. Something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. 
Okay, so I was wrong. I'm Billy. Yes, Billy. Oh, Billy's not. Gonna... Billy's not gonna be nice. Oh, Billy's not gonna be nice, especially if he's supposedly the one that's causing a lot of this. Then that scares me even more. What makes you think I want to deal with Billy now? It's a comfortable little shower area. I mean, don't mind the dead bodies, but it's kind of kind of nice design. Anything in there? I hope not. There's a hand. Need a hand? <laughs> no. No one. Okay. Fine. No sense of humor from you guys. Uh-huh. Blood and guts and oh. No batteries though. Oh, they're in the freezer? No. Why is everything blue and purple? Why are the people purple? Oh, this feels like a lot of loops. Cause it is. I don't like this. We're gonna get chased soon. You sent it already. We're, there's a chase scene coming up. Uh huh. And I don't like any of this. So was that was was Raw Rider helping us there when he killed Billy, or was he just going after the first biological entity he found and killed it? Cause one possibility could help us out a lot, and the other could. Where? Oh, 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 ghost came after us real quickly there. Oh, I didn't expect that. He was just kind of there. Uh huh. More. Uh -huh. Mhm. Mm okay. It's all just as normal as usual. Uh oh. Found me. Owie. Fucking quit it. Oh yeah, I forgot I can only see- Oh, I'm dead. Oh, kill me now. I was curious anyways. Okay, well I have a feeling I got my answer. Also, don't go right, because right's not right. So, no, he's not helping us, for anyone that was curious. Okay, I'm just gonna run through that one then, because it's already open. Oh, bring it on, bring it on. I'm not scared of you. Yep, there he is. Ow. Okay, he's he moves got fast. Right. He's a little bit fast. But he ain't faster than me. Genuine scientific question here. Okay, so he has to stop and open doors. Oh, get through. Let me through. Oh, I had to do that. Okay. Uh huh. Go, go. I'm assuming he doesn't have to take the stairs. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. How awkward would it be if I just suddenly passed out? Can I put these in? No. Alright, let's under that. Let me just take it from you. Uh, note to all personnel from consultant MM008 Rudolf Wernick. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. 
We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We are we now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. So he's not saying that this ghost-like being doesn't exist. He's just saying that don't don't believe in it because it might kill you. Seems like he's saying with full confidence that it does exist and that they need to be careful of its existence. Just thought I should make sure. This is me. I'm not going out yet. Might be precious batteries in here. Okay, fine, we'll go out. Uh, turn off the valve for the life support fluid. Uh-oh. Nothing here screams good. This is Billy? Billy's Roll Rider, isn't he? He's in an eth ethereal form, isn't he, right now? Billy Hope. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Oh, this one's not doing too good. That one's cracked. Who else is here? Is Billy the only surviving one, or is there something here? Okay, I have a feeling I should get a move on. Billy's clearly not alone. Okay. Uh-oh, can't go that way. So what is Wall Rider supposed to be? Because they just said something along that lines. It increases intelligence. Or at least that's what he's supposed to do. You okay, bud? Yeah, you're just a normal one. That went crazy. You weren't lucky enough to be in the asylum part of the building, though, were you? I have a really big loop-de-loop -loop if I have to run away from something. Uh-huh. This is Billy's hope Billy Hope's lungs. His liver, his life support, a machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all, break it all, he has to die. Hmm. Man, we really became psychopathic murderers while we've been in this place. Any sort of human empathy is just kind of like falling apart. But why would we need so much to keep one thing alive? Are you saying he's ascended to to a higher level of 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 being almost? Manner of speaking, because that's what they're making it sound like. Like he's reached this level that's just so far beyond normal h humanness that. That, I don't know, he's become dangerous, he thinks better than humans, he's, he's become something that's starting to make an impact on humans even outside of, uh, well, himself. From the personal records of Dr. Wernick, Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, uh-huh, already read that, learned from me, if not by my pro precepts, pre precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of a knowledge, and how much happier that modest man, that he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Now, well, we, we definitely tried to become greater than our nature allows. That's how Billy came to be. But is he gonna die from this? Because I have a feeling he won't. Uh, uh, uh. Off the electrical supply from the sub lab generator. So, did that do what we can afford to? You know, I'm just gonna move quickly because I hear noises. As long as it isn't in front of me, we're fine. As long as it ain't in front of me, we're fine. This is why you leave doors open. This is why we leave doors open. <laughs> Billy, don't worry, I'll put you out of your misery soon. Okay, it's up there. These doors magically open. They didn't look like kinds of a, an electrical variety, but okay. Okay, we're kind of 
horrendous monster we can run into here. Because I can only imagine they're going to put us in a chase scene soon. And the only way we'll be able to see it is with this, but we'll have to watch out for real biological. What was that? What's that noise? What's that noise? Is that me? That's me, bro. Okay, vision's getting blurry. Billy's getting closer. Sorry, Wall Rider's getting closer. The etherealist of ethereal beings is getting closer. Right, 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 right. Oh, oh, boom! I have jumpy skills. I can jump in. Oh, my! He was right there. He just blew. Ow, leave me alone, Nicole. Hey, <laughs> sucker. I'm better than you. And he broke through. No, he didn't. We're fine for a moment then. But can let's read some more. Oh, come on. I just got it. Thank you. Uh, please find attached the permission to proceed form for patient William Hope of the Murkoff charitable psychiatric program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial ren remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Wernick, having read the boy's dreams reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Huh! <laughs> RIP! Wow. Didn't explode in our face. Take care of we. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what are we doing? Disable Billy's life pod failure. Oh, yes, because this is going to be an easy task and not whatsoever infuriating and hard to get to at all. Really, every time? What new substance would I have run into in the time I've been going from there to here or here to there? Riddle me that. We were literally in the same environment. <gasps> oh, you're not nice, Nicole. Whee! Oh, oh. My bones, my legs, my eight fingers, my everything hurts. Oh, bye bye. Okay, everything's a little too bright. Alright. Let's go, 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 let's go. Run, run, and run, and run, and run, and run. I don't know where to go. I thought that would be it. Uh oh. I don't know. Here, maybe? Did I go the wrong way? Oh! Yeah, damn it. Here, here. I'm no scientist, sorry. I'm dead. I don't think I went the wrong way. Yeah, no, I'm supposed to be going for his life support pod, so... What the fuck did I do? Ugh, what? Oh, god damn it, and both of these are open now. So he's gonna be even closer on my tail than he was the first time. Go, 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 go. Billy! Billy! Uh oh, I ran past Billy. Fuck! The fuck? Go, go, go. Okay, I'm assuming I have to come back here then. Run in, run in, run in, run in. Oh, oh, he's right there. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. I don't know if that's my own footsteps or he's just thumping behind me, but I don't know. Or if it's music, if it's music plus pretty too. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't, 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 don't. I'm really hedging a, hedging a bet on this one. Oh, I died. Oh, yeah. Yes, I thought, you idiot. Uh, big dumb, dumb idiot. Big, not smart, big, dumb, brain, idiot, you. Okay, so I uh, clearly went the wrong way. Still in a very hyper-intensive chase. Let's just stop for a moment.
Disable Billy's life talk. Oh, I feel safe. Run faster. Oh well, at least I can close this one behind me for just a moment of rest. Feel safe. How do I? How do I feel safe? Feel safe. Feel safe. Feel safe. Feel safe. Feel safe. Brain. Feel safe. It's pod. Feel safe. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Feel safe. Let's try going back for that. Run, 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 run. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Run faster. Why aren't you running faster? Go up the stairs like an Olympic freaking sprinter. Come on, let's do it. Up the stairs. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just a little bit faster, just a little bit faster, just a little bit faster. Top your best record. You are good. Make it to the Olympics this year. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I never went left. Okay, left is a dead end. Well, here we go again. Okay, nope, I'm dead. The fuck are his pods? Billy's life pod feels so. Where the fuck is that? I went to both ends of the map, I didn't see it. It's gonna be something so stupid or it's gonna be a glitch. That's that's what it always is with my luck. Yeah, scary music, whatever. I'm so terrified. Fail set, fail set, fail set, fail set, fail set, fail set, fail set. Fail set. Okay, those should be dead now. You're dying. Quit it. Oh, shush. You're almost dead. Quit it. Can't believe our camera can pick this up. Oh, I can't see what's happening, but assuming it's bad. Oh shit, we just did- Guesses. Either Wall Rider just dispersed. Where am I going out though? Wall Rider just dispersed, or the ghost just entered us to create a new. to find a new host. And I'm feeling that second. Well, I'm not doing good. Well, wow, those eight stairs were a lot of trouble. There's my missing finger. Oh, thump. Oh, thump. Oh, thump. Oh, thump. Oh, thump. We've got a long way to go. You're in for a long ride. If we're gonna walk this slow. So that was Billy. We've killed Billy, who's been a perpetrator of a lot of this. What's happening? A thumping. He's winning. The ghost is winning. Oh, okay.
These idiots are trying to shoot a ghost. Is that the end? Wow! We finished this in a reasonable amount of time. So, I Boo. Okay. so I'm gonna I'm just go. Nope, nope. Go, computer, what the fuck? Crap. My computer just crashed from that? Okay, it's not good. Okay. I was trying to turn down the audio so I could talk, but is it that dumbass stuff? Yep, finished the game, so I finished it. Does that mean I'm still alive? Does that mean our character's still alive once he gets out of there? Were we set up to kill Billy even though he knew f No, no, he sounded surprised. Oh, was that Dr. Wernick? I thought he was just a patient, but now that I think about it, that might have been Dr. Wernick who created all of this and caused the entire problem altogether. Billy was the ghost, and he was the ghost that everybody was worshipping that kind of made everybody go crazy. And at first I was thinking this was like a human... A, like a human... Well, that's what it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be a human hypnosis pro, uh, like project that made it so that soldiers would would follow what they are told to do to a T. Even more so than they do already. Like they would do the most heinous war crimes without even considering it because they're being hypnotized into it. That's what this was supposed to be. But in the end there, it seemed to turn into some sort of project for human superiority. Like, they wanted the human mind to take on properties of a, of a higher being. And they did. That's exactly what Billy was. He was something that, he was someone that had, what was it, like, I thought I heard it say, I thought I read it say, um, nanobots, right? Or bots machinery of some sort that enhanced him on a genetic level. He became a breeding ground for these mach this machine. So he became hyper-advanced. But then it raises the question, why the fuck was there a ghost? And how come that ghost could just leave him and then come to me, huh? And like I said, is my character dead now? Or is he, or do they expect us to believe that he's alive? Because if we could kill the ghost's last host, then only be assumed that he could probably kill us as well. Oh, who are those soldiers? Are those sh sh soldiers part of the original foundation? Murkoff? Is it? It's Murkoff, right? Yeah. I wasn't paying very good attention to my memory. Goldfish, remember? Yeah. Um. I did not expect that. I didn't expect to finish it this video either. That is, that's surprising. I mean, of course, uh, we're still going to be on Outlast for the first Outlast for a little while because there's a DLC as well, and I do intend to play that. But this is... that's amazing. I was looking up finish times for Outlast 1, and it said most of them said 11 hours. I don't know if it's in considering the DLC as well, but... Am I going to get my data, my spreadsheet, how many times you died, stuff like that? So yeah, it entered us, which means it isn't something that's tied to any one entity or any existence of a malleable form, physical form. It just needs something as a tether point. What is Wallrider, though? Is that supposed to be the question, or is there was there a way to figure this out? Was there notes that told me about what Wallrider was? Because everything that we read seemed to point towards Wallrider being this just magical existence that everybody worshipped once he started to appear. Okay, hello? Clearly stuff is still working. I don't see my mouse, but clearly stuff is still working. And there's still a second game, keep that in mind. That's that's what I was trying to do here with my channel. I still have several other games that I plan on starting the series for. I will eventually circle back around to Outlast 2. I fully intend to. I don't know if I'll ever do Trials because, I don't know. It would have to be specifically requested. But I'm hoping by the time we've circled back around to Outlast 2, I've developed a little bit more of a following. For now, I'm still just, I'm still just trudging along. We're almost at the 10 subscriber mark, and I'm very happy about that. We're we're getting there. Okay, hello? Somebody? Hello? Is there anybody there? Is 
Did anybody home? Oh shit, it might have crashed. Oh, I think it might have crashed. But, it's interesting. It, it, it is. Uh, it's kind of a little crazy, and I don't know how an organization like that, that most normal folk even know does crazy shit, would manage to start up a new corporation anywhere. I don't know who would let that happen, but clearly it did. It was cool. I didn't ex- what was the name of that- that beast then? The pig. That douche hole that kept following us everywhere. I- I wasn't- was it in that note that our character wrote? Like, I hope you found a better place than just another hell. Well, this is the first game I've technically finished at least the main story of since I started streaming with my web- my face cam. No. Nothing. Nothing. No, just not a Zinc. Zoink Scoob, just, just infinite loading. <sighs> Fuck. Really, you're gonna make me pull up Task Manager for this and everything? Shit, this is broken. This is bad. Shit's broken. My, I'm gonna have to restart my computer to get this to work. God damn it. Fuck you, Outlast. Alright. So I'm just gonna start it up again because clearly it doesn't want to be a good game. I'm just joking. It's a great game, but it's got its problems. The fuck am I? No. Well, it isn't that far. It's just kind of annoying that I've got to watch through all this stuff again. Okay, see you in a second. Oh, I missed a note. Oh, <laughs> well, let's let's read this one. Uh, morphogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life rod pod requires a day- Fuck off. Go. Away. Okay. Requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system 1, the enriched oxygenated perfluorate- Perfluorocarbon- from the life support fluid res reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital system 2. Electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital System 3. In the case of a of catastrophic loss of Vital System 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failure Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. Oh, oh, boosh. Okay, <laughs> we're needy. Oh, wall rider. Poof. Ow. Oh. And that's where it goes inside. Well, it was seven. Take that back. Don't take that out of context. I think my camera is the only thing that has a shadow there. I don't deserve a shadow. I don't feel so good. Very much like Ethan's death in Resident Evil 8. Interesting. Interesting. Gotten him. That becomes a whole. Oh, him. That was him. Jesus, Dad, what is that thing? What is that? Okay, so I went through all that to see if I would get like a, hey, this is your achievements, like in Resident Evil, uh, any of them. But, anyways, that was Outlast. I would come back for the Whistleblower DLC thingy. I don't know what it is. It, I, it could be a D DLC, it could be an entire new part of the game. A portion of the game, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, tell me what you thought down in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you stick around for more series, great series like this. And I plan on doing more down the line. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. -bye.